Good morning, my kick family. How's everyone doing today? Let me tell you, it's been wild. I, I, I'm just kind of speechless right now. I didn't. I totally did not expect to see so much love this morning from my Kick Kingdom family. Um, we got some announcements today, but before we get started, just the Donut Dad, Brad Kong, and Rage Stamper, aka Vexnum, Now Zero, Crow Visual, Paddle Streams, Iron Ninja, I Smithy Twenty Four, Cleesley. A. Hughes, Witsender, Demise TBE, Gemstone, The Dan Kikong, Greeny Beanie Bow, Kewala, Crust Cake, B. Sibs, Besley, Gaming Garo, Massive C, Miku CS, That Guy Slim, West LOL, Gothica 20, More show, queued up to Phoenix Nine at MGTV, Nissan, Nif Rocks, Perdita, Berries, Samuel Ray, Mel Z V, I am Stone, Uncle Rark, Tenebris, at Pot W three LL, Curly Snow. Thank you all for the follow. And welcome to the community. I love every one of you. I love everyone in the Kick community family. And now we'll get to the first announcement. So when I first started two weeks ago, I was intrigued by Kick streaming. And I was like, well, you know what? Let's give it a try. So on the first stream, I jokingly said, welcome to Koskari Beta because Kick Beta. So it's kind of clever. I didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't know what kind of reception I would get. I didn't know anything. I just knew that I wanted to give it a shot. The community seemed like it was hype and it felt great. Crimson Edits, thank you for the follow. So fast forward to two weeks and like the community that I've met and all the people I've met have been completely amazing. So I'm here to tell you first that there is no such thing as Koskari Beta. We are going full fucking send, everybody. We are going full send. We are going to do this. Um, second announcement, and there's a bit of personal story behind this. So I'll try to eat this out. I mean, you guys already got me in the fields this morning, so um, I, I'll eke it out. So I had said in an earlier stream that I wanted to wait to name the community until we figured it out together, but I didn't, we didn't need to do that. So when I was up at the camper, I was sitting out at 12 foot falls. I think I put some pictures on the Twitter and in the discord for the kit community. Um, and I thought to myself, you know, I've, I've already figured out the name without even knowing that I did. Um, we'll, we'll talk more about like the bear and the meaning behind that um, and you'll get a, some idea of the logo and everything like that in the conversation that we're about to have but I thought to myself a bear is only a bear without its growl the growl is what makes the bear command respect it's the voice and it's that positivity that can be spread through the community so the community officially will be known as the growl and we will spread positivity uh, have great times make memories and the more of you that come into the community that louder that growl will be the more positivity we can spread now the reason why i made all these decisions is i did something on Twitter and I noticed something. So I've actually deleted Twitter twice. So the Kasakari on Twitter is actually the third Kasakari on Twitter. And the reason I did that is because I was in a really dark place. Um, so to put in context, the reason why I'm doing everything is for my son, Austin. Austin was 20 years old when he passed away due to complications from cerebral palsy and he had that infectious smile and that laughter and spread positivity throughout the world and you couldn't you couldn't like meet this kid and not feel better 
You couldn't, you couldn't not be happy. Um, he managed to get through graduation, and then uh, in 2020, he passed away from complications for CP. Uh, that's where the dark place goes in. And then through that, you know, when I looked at my Twitter, all I saw is the negativity in the world. And it was easy for me to cut myself off from that because I was already in a bad place. Um, I didn't know where I was going to go. I didn't know, you know, it was one of those things where it, it can either eat you or you can feed off of it and become a better person. Thanks, Reaper. So, you know, we fast forward to the Twitter and it was so negative. I came back and it was still so negative, all the bad things that were happening in the world. But I just saw, I saw a couple of posts. I saw Solar Kong. I saw a couple other people and it was really positive. There was positivity. So it was a matter of thinking to myself, you know, if I was more positive instead of hiding away from this, if I started spreading that positivity in Twitter, if I started spreading that positivity on stream, what would that do for the world? And I can tell you, everyone, in two weeks, my Twitter went from like a pits of despair feed to an amazing, just simply amazing feed of people saying good morning to one another, people cheering people on, people just like getting it. So that's what we're going to do. That's exactly what I plan to do. We're going to game, we're going to have fun, we're going to have memories, and we're going to just kill it. We're going to spread that positivity. We're going to make people's days brighter. However, we have to do that. And I hope that it gets infectious. I hope more people do it. Because there is positivity in the world, even if it doesn't feel like it's that way. So really, that's what I wanted to say. I wanted to thank you to say thank you to Kick. I wanted to say thank you to the Kick Kingdom community, all my family there. And I want to say thank you to everyone out there who's trying every day to do their best and trying to make the world a better place. You guys are amazing. All right. With that, uh, the third announcement, I had some really kind of cheesy goals. I didn't really want to like put any kind of metric type numbers on things. I want things to grow more organically and just kind of, you know, go as they will. But just to be fair, um, I did create some smart goals. So let's see if I can get to the, here we go. All right. So July, 2023 community goals. Uh, 100 Twitter followers, and I think we're actually fairly close to that. Uh, 100 kick followers, and with the love you guys are giving me this morning, I, th I have no problem thinking that we can accomplish that. Um, TikTok followers, I think I'm at like 83 or so. I like to do some fun stuff with the AI, so if anyone wants to do that, check it out. You know, uh, hit exclamation mark socials, and you'll be able to find it. And then 1,000 Twitter tweets. I think I'm at like 600 or so right now. But the Twitter tweets, tweets to me are the most important because every one of those tweets that I send out is going to be a tweet that I'm hoping makes someone's day better. Whether it be saying good morning to someone, good night to someone, telling someone I hope their day is good, I hope they're smashing their goals, whatever it is, I'm going to do that. We're going to hit that 1,000 and hopefully a lot more. Hopefully it, it works out that way. Wow. In terms of my plans for this week, so I do have, I think we're going to do it on Wednesday. Um, we're going to do a wheel picker, find my fate in World of Warcraft. Um, what that means is we're going to let the wheel picker select which race I'm going to play in World of Warcraft. And then we're also going to let it select which class. And whatever those results are, those are the results I live with. And we're going to take that character to cap. Um, don't know how long exactly, how many streams it'll take, but we're going to do it. So with that, I want to say thank you again. And I think we can get into some World of Warcraft gameplay. I think I'm going to go on the Warrior for a little bit this morning. And just kind of hang out, get some mining done, get those professions, skill ups, and just hang out with everyone. So I want everyone, I want to say thank you to everyone for listening. I hope that what I've said today inspires you um, and gets you out there. Put yourself out there. If you are on the fence about putting yourself out there, don't be afraid to do it. You can only be more successful if you do it. So I want to thank you all, and let's get to the gaming.
<laughs> That's right, Reaper. Kick Kingdom is on top. And the beard, the beards actually, they've been wanting me to shave my beard at work for the longest time. But I told them they can either have a business architect with a beard or they can have one without, they can have someone else that doesn't have one. But we're keeping the beard. It would be some amazing content though if, if there was some kind of a contest. And if the contest was met that you guys got to see my wife shave it clean right on stream. That would be crazy, but you never, you never know. It definitely could be part of religion at this point. I'm like past garden gnome and, and making my way towards wizard, I think, at this point. All right, let's see what we got here. Border Bricks Quest, Expedition Drop, Molten Globule, Primal Earth Fragment. Hmm. All right, so I know like there's some really rough monsters somewhere around this way that I can get some of these things from. And since I've already hit the 20, rank 20 with the smell these people I don't have to do their dailies anymore which is a great feeling that was a pretty awfully long grind these guys will drop one of the items I think So how's everybody else doing this morning? Everyone doing great? <laughs> Look at that first grab. All right, now we gotta find some fire elemental guys. Oh, there's some right down there. Oh no, we're falling. Get all of them. Oh, nice, some New World. I played it when it first came out. Um, actually, I've been thinking about downloading a couple other games to play on stream this week instead of just World of Warcraft. Kind of spread it out a little bit. Maybe I'll have to put that one back on. Actually, it might still be on my PC, I'm not sure. I would love to play some Diablo 4 on stream too, but I only have it on PS5 and I haven't done what I need to to get <clears throat> streaming off of that. So we'll see. Definitely going to try it out. No, I haven't, I haven't actually picked anything up for it yet. I just have the PS5 upstairs and um, the game. See, so what I did is, like, with work, I spent pretty much all day at a desk. So some days when I got home, or when I got done working, <laughs> got home, it's, like, literally, like, 15 feet from where I'm at probably right now. But some days I just, like, was done with being at the desk so we picked up a playstation 5 and i put it in our bedroom so i could just like kick back and relax in bed and play some games um, i got like god of war god of war ragnarok modern warfare up there uh diablo 4 and then of course all of the massive amount of games that are on ps plus so there's a whole lot that we can that I can play when I'm up there and I just feel like I need to relax Man, I swear I think they overdid it with the totems on these crust breaker mobs It's like fighting a mini boss every time you pull one I even got someone here <laughs> helping 
<laughs> wow, that's crazy, Wits Ender. I want to get Final Fantasy 16 too really bad, but I've been like practicing some amazing self restraint. Uh, in World of Warcraft, I have Paladin, Warrior, Warrior, which is this character, uh, Mage, Hunter, and Druid at 70, and then everything else is at 60. I go on little binge, uh, binge leveling things. Right now, they got a XP buff where you get 50% more experience points. So I've been leeching off of that. Um, it ends on July 11th when the patch comes out. So I'm hoping that I can get like one or two more out of it um, this week. And then kind of go back to like regular doing um, more progression type things. Some more mythic plus keys and, and stuff like that on my warrior. Normally I'd play druid. I, I typically main druid but as a bear but it's been kind of I don't know I've been disheartened by it it feels like it's a little bit squishy when you're pulling in mythic plus and it still has those fundamental problems where like it doesn't it soaks damage with having a high health pull and a lot of healing but it doesn't really mitigate magic damage very well you just get annihilated in some of the mythic plus dungeons that they have this season like vortex pinnacle and a couple of the other ones so like as much as i love playing the bear i just it just feels kind of bad i'm hoping that on the 11th the patch will um the patch and the remakes and the redos they're doing to the talent tree will address some of those concerns but when i was looking at it I'm not sure it it feels like there's some really solid solid improvements to it but I don't know if it's gonna really address the fundamental core of the druid problems and blizzard generally does it with um, ends up fixing druid by tier sets like the tier set bonuses but I don't know that that's like a sustainable way to solve the problem. It, it, I mean, it's temporarily going to do it, but it's not, at the end of the day, it's not going to make it any better. So I'm hoping that, you know, they, they get a little bit more to the core root of the problem so that they don't have to address it with borrowed power or anything like that. It would, that would literally make me love that game even more. I didn't see any more. We need more fire elemental mobs for the molten globule thingy. We need more fire. We're not going down there unless we have to. That place is tragedy. Uh oh. Um, this isn't a good place to be. Looks pretty ominous. See what we got over here. Hmm. Oh, there we got we got some magma over here. Oh, this doesn't look like it's gonna be fun. Dragonflight's really good. It's just um, it's just that it's kind of they're. Like, in some ways it's really alt-friendly, but in other ways it's not. Like, for me, I love professions in an MMO game. I love, like, a really good profession system. And they did a lot of upgrades to it, but they didn't really, like... I don't feel like they addressed catch-up very well. So if you started out now, you miss, like, several weeks of collecting all of the... All of the bonus loots for your, um... For your adding skills to your professions. So you kind of in that position where you just have to play catch up and you can only get so caught up and then you're just kind of behind for a bit well actually infinitely behind at this point because I don't know that most people can take the amount of time to grind out the little dragon stone fragments or whatever it is Ooh, this isn't good That was dicey for a minute. Oh, it might get dicey again. Oh no, 
That's a bad stun. And that was a bad. Yeah, this is probably not gonna end well. That's a whole lot of stuns. I can't do much when I'm stunned. Ugh. We're clenching. We're clenching. Oh, no. There it is. That was just way too much. Way, 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 way too much. I guess we gotta try a little bit less. I don't. I this might just be bad. I guess pick off the top first and work our way down. Got to kind of fight into the stronghold type of thing. Try it out and see how it works. I mean, it can't go any worse than last time. like so good it just like the healing back on it the blocking the mitigation it's just really good this feels really good now obviously there's an extent where you just get wiped out but you know gotta get in there and give it our best There's a lot of healing going on in this pile right now. I keep spawning avalanches too, that's not helping. Thank you for the follow, Mac Attack. Welcome to the community, and I guess we're going swimming this morning too. Well, that might get rid of <laughs> might get rid of all the stuff that I pulled. Uh, no, it isn't. Here they come. Come on. Come on. Oh, no, they're gone. Whew. Well, at least now we can just get these couple and then <laughs> make our way in, I guess. Like, the attacking into the stronghold approach didn't work that great, so I guess we gotta try a little bit different approach here. Wife has a risen stream. Man, this 
<laughs> this is just these things are just taking forever to kill. It's only one pack. And look at is that stuff like respawn? No. Okay. I thought it all respawned, like all the hard work I did was starting over. furnace seriously okay we won't get any wait a minute how do we get more avalanches the avalanche oh he's still alive oh <laughs> no Finally gonna Whew. There we go, one less. We're getting there. We're getting there. I, s I promise we're we're not gonna spend the entire stream on this bridge. I guarantee it. I don't know when we're gonna leave the bridge, but we're leaving this bridge. Stop. How many of awakened avalanches does this guy have in his pocket? Seriously. Thank you for the follow, Ninja Kem. Welcome to the growl. And with that, we are at 69 followers. It's a very impressive number. Indeed, Dell, indeed. Welcome from Twitter, Ninja. Glad to see you. All right, we made it through that. Oh, there's two stone grinders there. Oh, here we go. We're going to go full send and see if we can make it through this pack. Oh, man, I was in defensive stance this whole time. <sighs> this, well, this will make it go a little bit faster now. We'll get him. How's your day, Ninja? Nice, me too. I took the week off this week just so that I could relax, recharge, play video games. Try to forget about adulting a little bit. You gotta do that sometimes. So what's everyone up to today? Anyone have any big plans? Anything major going on? we can like pull just a small bit of that up you know this is a whole lot of work for one 
skill up blacksmithing point. And it's not even a guaranteed one. This guy keeps making more ads. Let's get him next. Oh, stop. No more. No more. Dude, he's like spamming that. Oh, and now I missed the shield. I don't know what's worse, the shield or him spawning more ads. What do you guys think? Part of me wants to stop the shields. But the other part of me is just tired of these little avalanches. Ah, we got him that time. That's enough, stone grinder. Got him. That's what you get. All right, let's see if we can like break this up a little bit. <laughs> no way. No way did that just happen. One, I was half expecting like three quarters of that pile to come up here with me. Now the huge W would come if I kill this guy and his, the items there. Nope, not the right item. All right, let's see. If we do this one, what happens? Oh, too far away. Not that one, this one. No way. Are you serious? It was that easy? It's not the item. Hey, what's going on here? Are they like brawling in? Oh, someone's in there. <laughs> I guess we're getting in there now. This should go a lot better than the last. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, that is a lot. <laughs> uh, why did I trust that? Why did I trust that? <laughs> Oh, unreal. I should have stuck with the game plan. I got greedy. Way, 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 way too greedy. But we can come right here, we can resurrect. We can go back to our original plan. Okay, can we get just this guy? Dude, no way. Oh, that guy pulled all that stuff. Let's see what happened. Six more. We're so close, Kong. We're so close. So I think the key to this is just pulling one of them at a time until we can get that magma guy. That's the guy we want. I have a feeling he's got what we need. Thank you for the follow, Papa Adams. Welcome to the Growl. 
Why is this guy like, yo? We're taking one at a time, buddy. You can nuke all those guys all you want to. We know what happens when we get greedy. We know. Oh, what are we into? Why am I dying? Oh, we got him now, that rolling lava. Does he got it? Does he got it? Oh, he has it. We're good. Haha, <laughs> let's get out of here. I think that is the most work anyone in the history of World of Warcraft has ever put in for one blacksmithing skill up. Uh oh. Dude, they had to get me on the way out. Thank you, Pepper Style, for the follow and greetings. Some of my co-workers are actually from Ger uh, Germany. And we are at 71 now, folks. Only four away. We're getting so close. It seems like we might be having a affiliate stream tonight. safe where is it safe there it is let's get out of here I think we're safe now what an adventure that's why I love games like this you never know what you're gonna get into like I thought I was just going to go do some, kill a couple mobs, get my blacksmithing drops and be out like a thief in the night and then all of a sudden it turns to like this massacre of me. Squatch Patrol, thank you for the follow, welcome to the growl. Alright, let's go this way. I'm going to head out to the Onaran Plains. Yep. Three more to go. I'm stoned three more. Three more of you amazing folks. Let's go. Thank you for the follow, Reflexion. Welcome to the Growl. Glad to have you here. And for any of you folks that may not be from the Kick Kingdom, Second here. Right there in the chat. Right there. Those are your keys to an amazing family of folks. I could not be more proud to be a part of the Kit Kingdom family. I couldn't be more proud of each and every member of that community. If you're not there and you want to find the best social group of kick streamers and kick community members as well as just great folks in general, 
Use that Discord link. Jump in there. Say hi. Use that at Kick, the Kick Kingdom. Follow the Twitter. Get in there. Become a part of something amazing. We all know we're just getting started and look at the progress in this short period of time. You can be a part of some... It's broken? Oh no. Thank you for the follow YYY users. Welcome to the community. Let me grab a fresh one really quick here. Just give me one second. We are one away, everybody. We're one away. And there it is. The Jackal. Welcome to the Growl. Let's fucking go, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for this. This has just been an amazing morning. You guys have no idea how much I love you right now. And every day, like every morning since I've been in that Discord, every morning since I've been on Twitter, nothing but love for everybody. You guys are just simply amazing. So it does look like we're going to have that first affiliate stream tonight. Let's go see if we can get that link. For you all, for anyone that's not in there. I think that's it. Double checking. There it is. So that's the Discord link. It looks like it's updated since I made the little the little message. Chiz Gaming, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the growl. Take a minute and go apply. All right. Let's see here. do I have to do
Thank you, I'm Stone. It, it is Ninja. This is just um, wow. Thank you for the follow, Oxy. Welcome to the growl. I got to put some information in there in a little bit. So we'll just kind of hang out for now and we'll do that. I don't want to like stop the stream entirely. Want to keep spending time with you folks and hanging out. I I know it's just like, it's just amazing. It, you look away for a few minutes and like the whole like landscape changes. It's just like it's just like the Kit Community Discord. You like look away for a minute, and there's so much life that happens in that small short bit of time that it's just like it's amazing. It's just simply like there aren't words to describe it. Looks like I just have to put something in manually. Okay, it looks like I accomplished it. I think I did all the things. Yo, thank you for the sub. Yo, thank you for the sub. Thanks, Crimson. Iron Ninja, thank you for the one month sub. You are the first. I promise for the affiliate stream, I actually have like some sub button or sub stuff set up. Just a little bit early for me to have it now. Again, thank you all. I can't, I just like, I'm still beside myself. It almost feels like it's not real. Ninja Kemp, thank you for the one month sub. I just, I don't even know what to say right now. I'm just almost kind of speechless. It just, it doesn't feel real, but at the same time, I know that it is. <laughs> Ninjas definitely be doing it. Oh, we have a story of a memorable victory. That's like a fitting, fitting, isn't it? It's really, it truly is. Like in the past two weeks, I've found such amazing people. We've done amazing things. And now here we are. That's true, Ninja. That's really true. Well, I'm not fighting that guy. 
Actually, I wonder if... Let's see. That's, that's the goal. Of, that's why I'm doing everything. I want my legacy to be something that my son would be proud of. Being able to pick up where he left off. I think that's like one of the most important things to me. It, it really is. If I can, if I can be half as inspiring as he was, that's all. That's all I could wish for, really. All right, let's let's kill a big dragon. Who wants to kill a big dragon? Oh, these guys ain't even waiting. They're just getting into it right away. These world bosses are definitely fun. Like even even these ones are like what from the previous patch I wanna say? Like they offer me absolutely nothing. It's just fun. Like you think about when yeah, you can actually queue them. Um, what you do is the world quest will allow you to hit find group, and then it'll pull up just the just the queues for the world bosses. It's amazing. And the only thing I think you can't really queue is like um, some PvP and like mythic rating, heroic rating, normal rating. Um, you can do like the pre-made finder. People can make pre-made groups and stuff, but. There isn't like an insta queue in, like there is for looking for raid. The preferred path of doing it, trying to solo one of these, is probably a bad idea. Oh, I'm not even tanking him, someone else got him. Alright, what are the bets? Gold or gear? I'm going for gold. I think it's going to be gold. Or one of those sacks of, um, sacks of flight stone thingies. Ah, look at that. Gold and shadow flame residue sack. The dragon riding in this game is pretty fun too. Like, I would have never expected that when they announced the Dragonflight expansion, and then all of a sudden, like, the system that they came up with is pretty great. And expanding it to like the other continents to make those other continents feel the same, I think that's going to be a huge win too. <laughs> that was a nice sack. Five Drake stones. I don't know why they did it that way, though. It's kind of, I don't know. It's kind of weird. So, like, you get the Shadow Flame Residue sack, but they stack. Oh, did they fix it? So, they used to give you, like, five of them. And you had to click each one individually to get each item, but it looks like maybe they fixed it. Maybe I stand corrected. special mining items yet. Uh oh, he's out of gas. Yep. Um where is it hiding? Down here? Aha! Had 
to let this recharge a little bit. The only downside to it really is running out of gas. Where is it hiding? Hello? Knock, knock. I don't see it. Oh, it's right there. There we go. Oh, that's a good one. Got it. Still haven't gotten any of the items, though. Dragon power. Oh, there's something. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, so close yet so far away. Guess we're hiking. way up here looks like there's some down in here too wakey wakey There we go. That's all we did all of that for, guys. Apparently there's one up here, too. No way. Thank you for the follow, MMA Roadhog. Welcome to the Growl. Oh, these are just the, oh wait, no. What do we got? What do we got? Hey, Severite War. Another one? Thought we just got this one. It's a troll in one. Look at this. Ding. Ding. Nope. Alright, let's head this way and see what we find. Adventure awaits. missed it hardened one there we go some good stuff in there it's not what we're looking for though it's this dirt pile probably I need dirt piles too it's hiding hey look at that blacksmithing point
Ooh, we got a chest in here. Magic bound chest. Will we be lucky and find a treasure map in it this time? Hmm. Some draconium ore. Clear these guys over the way. Shadow Flame Residue Sack. No treasure map. Might as well get more of these guys. They are going to stop us from getting our treasures. So I wonder if this one's actually going to work this up. <laughs> what? Oh, no treasure. Just some ore. What do we got there? A dirt pile. So it says I can get one more dirt pile skill up for blacksmithing. Is it here? Oh. Looks like we gotta clear things out first. Ah, it, it was. So we got those wiped out for the week. Alright stream, I am gonna be right back in just a second. I need to go grab another drink real quick. Be right back. All right, and we're back. All right, we got some mining nodes. I think what we'll do is we'll go until we get the next item and then we'll switch over to the monk for some leveling. Uh, continuation of what we were doing last night on stream and the bonus stream and I think it was the Thursday stream we started that one too so we'll do some monk tank leveling if anyone wants to level in World of Warcraft you have an account on the North American servers just let me know and we can get you in on that uh, there'll be a healer spot open and three DPS spots. So if you want to get in, you're more than welcome. Will it be this one? Well, we can overload this one. We 
get some extra stuff out of it. There we go. He's angry. They just don't want to give up those fragments this morning. Everybody's hanging out here. I wonder if they ever did anything about like the botters. The gathering botters. Like in the last expansion you would see like a pile of like nine or ten druids flying down on a herb or a mining node just like all daisy chained together. I know that they banned like the third party software for like keyboard emulation, things like that, which probably put a dent in it, but I don't know if it actually solved it. There it is. Oh, we got a twofer. That's crazy. All right, so who's ready for some monk dungeons? I'm ready. Are you guys ready? <laughs> All right, let's update the stream category and let's go monkeying. Time it is. For our queue up, do we have any takers? Going once, going twice, and sold. Here we go. If anyone changes their mind, just let me know. Healer, let's go.
we go. Oh, Ruby Life Pools. Here we go. Adventuring. Alstraza charged us with protecting the life pools from the Primus. I pray they are not infiltrated too deeply. Ensure the eggs are safe and eliminate any threat from these. To make sure the eggs are safe, everybody. I think so far, okay, so so far I leveled Paladin, I leveled Druid, and Warrior, and now working on Monk for tanking. I think all of them are fairly, like, from like a leveling perspective, I think they're all on a pretty even playing field. I don't think there's really, like, any one of them that is crazy better than the other. Now, obviously, depending upon what you want to do once you hit that level, that's going to determine, you know, what you're going to want to level, I think. You know, going back to what I said earlier, Druid tank just, like, the higher you get in the keys, and when you hit those Mythic Pluses where there's a ton of magic damage, it just doesn't feel as good as the Warrior does in terms of mitigating the damage. Um... You know, if you look on if you look on the web currently, if you look at some YouTube videos, I spent some time researching because I try to figure, you know, like what's going on really. And you know, there's people saying that if you're going to take a big pack, you have to precast Iron Fur, so you have to like do a couple things to build up Rage before you take the pull or Chain Pull, just so that you can get um, get Iron Fur defensive up right to start. You shouldn't have to do that. I mean, really, you should be able to. You know, you shouldn't be able to take on the world at once, but you should be able to do a, comp a comparable pull. Oh, what do we got over here? I guess people want more. More XP. I think you have to... You should be able to do a comparable pull with any tank without having to worry about... Ooh, what's going on here? Without having to worry about dying at the start of the pull, like, you know, obviously if your reach is more than your grasp, you're going to eventually die, but it shouldn't happen immediately. So we'll see it on the 11, 10.1.5 comes out, and we'll be able to look at the changes that they did to Guardian Druid, and we'll be able to play it again and see how it feels, you know, maybe... Maybe it'll feel right. Maybe it'll feel good. Hoping so, because I love that character. That's my favorite character. That's what I also play in Diablo 4, though. I've been really not focusing on Diablo, even though I just bought it. I've been stuck on playing this game. I've been having a lot of fun with friends, and my wife plays this game. So, you know, we spend time together playing on the game. Having a good time. So yesterday we made it to 66 out of 70. I have a feeling today between this stream and the affiliate stream tonight, we'll get 70 on it. And then tomorrow is the Tuesday reset, so we'll be playing Warrior tomorrow, seeing what we got in our Mythic Plus chest box. Actually, I only did one key this week. Normally, I do a couple. Let's drop the big fiery keg, get rid of all these ads. Hit her with the touch of death. That spell is just crazy. Being able to use that on a boss some, for some reason it just doesn't feel right. And bosses are like 20% health and you one shot it.
I can definitely see though how like since they did some work on Monk how people are using it for higher mythic plus keys. It seems pretty beastly. I don't think it would be my preferred choice though if I had to. Where are these guys going? Yo, come back. Oh, we didn't commit yet, so I think. Oh, there they are. They're coming up yet. Here we go. Gonna have to run this out. Get that brew bomb dropped. Getting drunk and throwing kegs just to tank. Some call it alcohol abuse. I call it tanking. We got the first pool. These guys are pretty much just burned down, interrupt when you can. Nothing special about it. Get this guy here. Free the second pool. Doing the good work while the, the big huge dragon is flying around telling us what to do. Alright, we'll keep clearing these guys, catching them as we go through. Don't have to worry about the big dragon dropping down, I don't think. I don't think you have to in normal or heroic. I think it's just mythic. Jacoby, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Grawl. How are you doing today? Hope your Monday is going awesome. Wait a minute. He didn't even say nothing about this last pool. What about these? What about this pool? Oh, we just burnt the rest of XP. Flame Dancer. Oh, we're gonna kill this guy faster than the Flame Dancer. Oh, let's get these guys. Hey, how's it going? Oh no, Burnout. Run! gonna summon the reinforcements. She's not going to. Alright, for this boss we gotta look at ad management and placement. She's gonna throw some boulders you gotta dodge when the ad explodes. I don't think he does it in normal but in mythic plus he puts a puddle on the ground that doesn't go away. <laughs> From a tanking perspective we just hold him here and when the ritual goes off, we're going to slide over to the ad. We're going to want to stop the cast, the Roaring Blaze cast. And then as soon as we get, oh, there's another one. Let's see if we can stop it. 
Yeah, we're good. So he does blow up either way. Um, I don't think he leaves a permanent... Yeah, he doesn't leave a permanent mark in um, in normal and heroic. It's mythic where he leaves the ground permanently. So you have to use the... You have to use the... Uh, probably the road is probably the best way to describe it. Use the road to kind of pass the bad. Even out and keep going. Really fun fight overall though. Got him. Ooh, get some loot. Is that better than what I got? Sure is. Aww. I got too excited to get the next pack. Alright, let's go down. That touch of death is just so wicked. And another pack. Oh, someone got greedy. Oof. Let's see if we can make it through this. Not looking very promising. I don't even. What are these all on? They are not on me. Are they on the pal? <laughs> oh no, I got them back. Wow, that was crazy. Made it. I think we made it. Oh, I'm speaking too soon, I think. Still got to get through these couple here yet. What was this guy doing way over here? Get back here. Drop him right down with that touch of death right there. Hey. On this one, it's best to focus the dragon. The dragon being up last is worse than the Urquhart Stormbane guy. Oh, I should have been watching the healer's other man almost. This might be spicy. Bloodlust is out. Ooh, big dragon. Yeah, they're pushing the 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 boss boss, not the dragon boss boss. They're pushing the other boss boss. Here we go. Big dragon. Got him. All right, now we got to get the dragon. Touch of death. Ha! Got him. Ooh, what's this? Oh, that's the same thing. No. It is. It's just insane. I can't believe how, like, 
I don't know. It just it almost feels like it shouldn't be on a boss. You shouldn't be able to do it on a boss, but I mean, I'll take it. It was pretty awesome. But man, that's just so wicked. Come on, healer. We got things to do. We got stuff to. We got adventuring. We got stuff to do. You can do it. Quicky, clicky. Oh, the Copernicus is coming to visit. Ooh, Halls of Infusion. Alright, here we go. So guys, chat, do we go through the froggy room or the non-froggy room? Where should we take them today? Non froggy? Alright. The <laughs> froggy room is just so evil. Froggy room is where dodgeball champions are made. Whew, got it. Oh, touch of death. <laughs> Expose. Oh, I just killed my interrupt on that. I can't wait for them to like get the kick act app updated. I want to see what that overall looks like. I saw that tweet yesterday and I've been like salivating over it ever since. I really want to be able to do some more IRL stuff and maybe I'll work on getting all that set up like with Streamlabs or something like that this week. I'd really love to take you guys down to the farmer's market on Saturday so check out all the little like garden booths and craft booths and stuff. It's pretty cool down there. Like since we moved to the town we live in now, we didn't have that in our other town really. And we like went and checked it out and it was actually like really cool. I was like, wow, go get fresh food and vegetables, cheese. And then like they had a little craft booths out there. They got some food vendors, it's kind of, it's kind of nice. And if I can figure out how to take you guys on a four-wheeler ride up north when we're up at the camper, I'm going to try to do that too. I know I can do it with video because I've done it on YouTube before. But if I could figure out how to be able to live stream that, oh, that would be sick. And of course, we'll, put, we'll play some other games, I promise. I know I've been doing World of Warcraft every single time, but I promise we'll play some other games too. I'm going to try out some games when they come out. Um, I plan to like figure out how to do like a play with me type streams, where if there's a new game that's coming out, we'll like put some up in a giveaway or something like that. had tons of ideas over the past like week or so. Oh, here we go. Oh no, he won't let me do it. Come on. Touch of death. Ooh. He's giving me touch of death right now. Come on. 
I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. Are they not going to give me it? There it is. Ding. All right. So for those of you that are not in the know, there's two paths you can take right here. If you go through this way, straight ahead, that is the froggy room. But we're going to take everyone this way. And you'll see some froggies in this room, but not like a hundred billion froggies like happens in that other room. It's actually the shortest way to the next boss, but it's also the most... Ah, uh, Skulking Zealot. I forgot about him. It's also the most painful way. Um, the secret with the frogs is that if they touch you and drop an item or uh, drop a poison on you, Ten times it one shots you, even in normal leveling difficulty. So these cur curious woglets right here. So you can see they're fixated on people right now. They're running every time they touch them. It's giving them a stack. Last of all, what is it? I think maybe ten seconds. And every time they get hit after that, it does it again. And it keeps doing it and keeps doing it until they hit ten, and then all of a sudden just like drop. With two or three of them, it's not so bad. When you have about 20 or 30 of them, or however many drop from that thing, good times happen. Oh, they had a ding in the, in the party. Congratulations. Okay, we're gonna have some skulkers coming through right about now. Here we got what, about five or six of them. Let's ring a piece of them. Help keep them away from people for a little bit. If everybody's focusing them, they'll die quick. And not be a problem for too long. All right. Now we gotta go this way. he gets too far ahead of me, he's going to get, there's one skulker, two skulkers. Now we get these guys here. Someone is just crushing and I'm like losing the aggro on some of these here. Hey my boy. Yep. The froggy boss next. Going froggy. Can't avoid this one though. We can get him. This one I don't really like know how to explain all the mechanics. It's just kill froggy, kill little froggies. I'm sure there's more to it, but I'm ordering a piece of these froggies. See if we can hold them in place for a little bit. Let people get a run and start. gold right there be nice to get some gear once in a while though get 
get the dragon with the touch of death. Someone got that one. Did I get that one? I don't know. Spicy. Incoming. Is healer good? I need mean, 43%. Let's, let's give him a second. We've been working Shalomon way too hard. Well, I don't want it. All right, let's go. Mm, let's come around this way a little bit. I want to give a little bit better placement to the... Yep, there we go. That's what... Oh. I'm guessing a whole lot of people didn't do the thingy. Healer double dipped on the Ankh and it killed him again. But, touch of death. Alright, let's get our friend awake here. Where's my button? There's the button. Let's get Shalomu. Wait a minute. Someone else got it. Oh, he. Why? Just why? We had you, bro. We had you. Um, um, I'll just take these guys at the top and see. Sure we're not taking too much here. Let's go in here and try this. See if we can progress with our healer on the way back. Seem to be doing all right. I spoke too soon. Alright, we got some stagger damage coming through. Let's bring him back here. Haha, <laughs> touch of death clutch. Let's kind of just hang out here and get these three. Like if we were on any other tank, I would probably be more inclined to just shoot up there and get more. But I don't know, like, it's hit or miss with the monk, really. I don't feel like it has, like, the insane healing like some of the other classes do. Pretty much at the mercy of your stagger. And eventually you stick the damage you stagger you have to you have to take in one way or another 
Are healers still in back yet? No. Oh, crap. Stop the barrier. I don't have any. Oh, I do. Flood's gonna knock me back. Damage. Oh, it's gonna be tight. Gonna be tight. Whew. Got him. Man, that was something. We got our, our healer's still not back yet. Where is the healer? Oh, there we go. He's, he's on his way back. We're, we're not pulling this without the healer. <laughs> not gonna do it. Everybody stay back. Here he comes. All right, let's get it. Hmm, are we gonna hit transition? I wonder, probably. The bigger question is everyone going to make it back from transition? Oh, we got someone outside. That's not going to help. We're definitely not making it without transition. I should have been paying closer attention. Oops. There it is. Ye old transition. close gotta watch the feats always watch feats Ooh, looks close on that healer I don't know someone in prison and we'll let that guy chill right there thank you for the follow OSB welcome to the growl how are you doing today Dropping down, he's dropping down. And we got him and the ding. Ooh, is that oh so close to upgrade. Alright, chat. We've had an amazing morning. Um actually more than I I actually thought was possible. Um I wanna thank everyone. We are going to at this time, we are going to find someone and we're going to pass this love. We're going to host. Um, I'll be on again tonight for the first affiliate stream. We got some things to uh, look forward to. So right now, let's go to Reflexon who's playing some games.